Oh boy, we're back. What are we doing again? I believe on the last episode I got Takoyaki. Um, yeah. I don't remember doing anything else. <laughs> I got Takoyaki. How about that? Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't remember. Alright! We're looking for the club! We're going to a different club before going to work. Oh? You're the manager here? You can pair me with the number one girl? Mmm, really? That's a nice sign you've got there. You guys are a cabaret, they're like, oh no, they're very different. A cabaret club? Well, that's just perfect. I ain't been in one of these yet, huh? Oh, a perfect opportunity, you say. Pardon me a second. Sorry. Anyways, I had to readjust my microphone. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Lead the way. You better show me the number one girl here. You better give me best girl. I'm gonna have to look up Yakuza best girl now, now that I've said that. Oh, wow. Some of those seats look, uh... I don't know what I was about to say. They're probably just, like, backs on seats. I've been in livelier graveyards than this. Yeah. Well, anyways. Here you are, our best girl. He, he turns around, puts a dress on. Oh, oh, oh. oh what a, what a hawk. You know. Yuki-chan. I mean, it's all right. She sounds very shy. Are you all right? God, blink twice for this is a human trafficking thing. Uh, let's start with a toast then, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. This is great. This is really my kind of place. Do they feed you, Yuki? Is this what you seriously the best they got? I don't. I don't. I know I'm not really uh good at this. Like, no, you're fine. No. I you're really the number one gal here, though? Like, there's only three of them. What is this, the Three Stooges film? I said about three. Anyways, what a great film. Honestly, good times. I remember watching that multiple times. Uh, apparently, so, this is the kind of thing you only find out when you're older and you have taste, but a lot of the movies that are, like, not children's movies but are still like movies that you'd watch as a kid and just quote and think we're really funny it's kind of sad watching them when you're old and like with fresh eyes instead of nostalgia and realizing they're not actually all that funny like uh god i think jack and jill is the is the example for me because that 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 shit's hilarious you know but looking at it objectively, it's like the stupidest movie imaginable. <laughs> I don't know how Adam Sandler gets Al Pacino to play anything in an Adam Sandler movie. Specifically not himself. You know? Maybe that's just how Al Pacino... Um, friggin... Huh? Harassment? What's that? There's a crank collar? That's a darn shame. What, are they, what do they want? The, the lot or something? Oh, uh, well. Anyways. Pudgy, man. So, yeah. Jack and Jill's hilarious, but it's like objectively unfunny. <laughs> he looks like he might be one of the... The rich guys, the five rich guys in charge of the entire place. Who's the rotund one? Oh! They were just talking about the rich guys. How about that? Anyways. Uh, you know, under our club's Mars. At least they were talking. I think they were talking about the rich guys. Um, but yeah, I think. I think. Adam Sandler just shuffles uh, scripts into Al Pacino's office and he says, Oh my gosh, if I don't if I don't play a silly character in a movie, I'm going to lose my mind like in that one Adam Sandler movie where I play myself. Ah, uh, anyways, the movie in question, by the way, is 
Jack and Jill. <laughs> um, God, now I feel like I have to give a synopsis for Jack and Jill. Basically, so I'm just going to run through the whole thing by heart because I remember the entire film. So Adam Sandler is uh, this, he's a, he's a rich advertising agency manager. Uh, and he has a banging hot wife and a couple adopted children. It's, I think they're adopted. Um, and he lives in a big house. So now we're going to get into stuff that's actually unique about Jack and Jill instead of every Adam Sandler movie. Um, so, the, I guess he's... Yeah, he's the manager, I think. Or he's in charge of like the actual work. He's one of the on-set fellas for advertisers or whatever. Actually, there's some more funny stuff about uh, some stuff in this movie. They have some, uh, let's say, some famous spokespeople. Um, in, they have some famous spokespeople in the film, <laughs> like a certain a certain subway eating fellow <laughs> uh, back in the day. Anyways, but the his boss calls him up and he says. If we can't, oh, not his, not even his boss. It was it was Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts calls him up, says, uh, "We got a new drink, Dunkachino, and we want Al Pacino for the advertisement, or we're dropping the advertising firm." And they're like, Jack's like, Adam Sandler's character, Jack, is like, "Oh my gosh, how am I gonna get Al Pacino to do a commercial? No one's gonna, Al Pacino's never gonna do a commercial. This is terrible." So, anyways, he goes on holiday because um, he's Jewish and all that jazz and no it was Thanksgiving it's a it's a general holiday movie because it starts with Thanksgiving and his sister his identical twin sister Jill played by Adam Sandler flies in um, and she's just terrible right she's insufferable Jack doesn't like being around her and all that jazz she tries to do all the like twin bonding mumbo jumbo garbage and He's not having it. So they do a couple of stuff. Like they get on friggin' The Price is Right with Drew Carey and all that jazz. Uh, you know, she just gets really lucky with a bunch of stuff. So antics ensue. Uh, he sets her up on a date or something. Uh, oh my gosh, it was Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald is a date and he like hides in a bathroom or something. Um, God, what else? But they go, they go to the Lakers game. They go to a basketball game, right? Um, because Al Pacino is going to be at the basketball game, and the advertising agency got them tickets to go to the basketball game so that they might meet Al Pacino, so that they can convince him to get be in the stupid Dunkin' Donuts commercial, right? And and they. They go up to Al Pacino, and he starts trying to try and talk to Al Pacino and whatever, and he's not Al's not having it right, and and then Jill says something about growing up in the Bronx, and that's all it takes for Al Pacino to just completely fall in love with Adam Sandler dressed up as a woman. <laughs> so Al falls for Jill, right, and he's like. Oh my gosh, that's getting back to my roots, you know. Uh, I I grew up in the Bronx, you know. I, we know these streets. We're from the same streets. I can get back to my roots by getting back to you. You know, things like that. Some some mumbo-jumbo garbage. But Jill ain't having it, right? Um, so Jack tries to set her set him up a couple times, and Jill's not having it. Um, to the point where, like, they... This is where it gets convoluted. I'm just going to skip to the end, right? So, um, Jack, like, dresses up as Jill and goes to, like, seduce Al Pacino. And Al Pacino is like, ah, your brother sucks. He's terrible. He has everything he ever wanted. He won't even appreciate his, his beloved sister or whatever. And he's like, I got to go see my sister. I'm a moron. I ruined everything and all that jazz. So... They go back to their hometown where Jill's sulking all alone because their mother died or something like that. And and 
God, this is a real visual novel episode. Whatever, I'm explaining Jack and Jill. This is super important. <laughs> but, um... Hey, you can be a franchise for the, uh... Grand... Golden God Cabaret whatever thing. Anyways. So... Uh, they go back, right? And he's like... You're not alone on the holidays. Because it's like New Year's at that point. And... And... Al Pacino shows up as like... The Man of La Mancha. And is like... I've given up on you, Jill. There's a, a, a better man for you out there. Right? And then it basically ends with the stupid Al Pacino... Uh, Dunkachino commercial. And I'm really hoping you've seen it. Because it's it's a sight for eyes it is a sight for eyes it is something to behold uh the dunk of, the al pacino dunkin donuts dunkachino commercial from for jack and joe there's an entire channel on youtube yeah, i'm pretty yeah. sure that is dedicated entirely to just doing running edits of that video of that commercial anyways so they get their commercial right everything is solved their familial connection is, is renewed. Uh, Al Pacino is uh, not in love with Adam Sandler in a dress anymore. Or maybe he is, I don't know. Um, and, 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 and all is right in the world, right? A perfect, just honestly perfect film for all ages. And full to the brim with just gut busting gags and laughter and all that jazz typical of an Adam Sandler movie because I know that when I say Adam Sandler you think the funniest stuff you have ever seen now just take a film that's an Adam Sandler film and multiply it by two because Jack and Jill is Adam Sandler and Adam Sandler <laughs> Anyways, am I going to actually do something in this episode? <laughs> the Sandman. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, at least I was talking about something. But seriously, it's been like a full friggin' ten minutes in this. I actually don't know what's going on. So, since I'm probably not going to actually do anything important in this episode. Can y'all fill me in in the comment section? <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, for those of you that are... Oh! Nice! This is basically... Oh, cool. I can switch between protagonists. Really? Interesting. Um... No, that's alright. I already know how to run a cabaret club. Because I run a cabaret club. Specifically one that is far more successful than yours. Pal, I've got a couple more girls than three, my man. So, maybe you should be asking me about how to run a cabaret business. How about that one, huh? How about that? Okay, fine, I'll learn about how to run a cabaret club. This is the real important stuff here. How do I run a cabaret club? They're like, alright, here's what you do. You go find some poor dejected woman on the side of the road, and, okay, never mind, that... That joke ain't gonna go far, so let's just actually listen to the real thing. Tremendous profits! Anyways. Uh, yes, actually, maybe I'll read this this time. I've, I've been completely... Okay, whatever. Uh-huh. Crap, I... Whatever. Drive out those rivals and you'll unlock new combat techniques, because that makes sense. I If I beat out my cabaret rivals, I will learn how to beat out bikers and goons on the side of the road. Heck yeah. No, I got it, pal. You know I know. Anyways. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's do this thing. Very nice. The three options in the top menu. Prepare to open, open for business, and rival battles. Oh, interesting. The hostess stats. Oh, interesting. Very nice. 
They have they have HP. Uh, this is a real battle here. Sheesh. Anyways, special training, you say? Hey yo, I didn't know that was this kind of game. I didn't know this was that kind of game, pal. This is uh, very quickly turning into something else entirely. I thought I was just here to beat up guys, but now it seems like I might be getting some uh, scenes. Let's say, probably not. I would hope not. I feel like I would have known about that by now instead of knowing about the uh, dame dame freaking uh, we are disco dancing, you know. Anyways, we're gonna prepare to open. Let's prep the opening, my friend. Wow. Okay, I can see why Yuki's number one. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's do the special training on her. <laughs> let's uh, let's do some special training, pilots. Anyways, let's do some conversational stuff. Please, for the love of Grosh, um, freaking string a single sentence together. That'll really get all the guys just raring. Uh, um, way to go, guys. Anyways. You sure you got this, girly? Okay, well, let's start with an easy topic. Tell me about some hobbies. She says, uh, all I have to do is tell you about them? Yes, that's implied with me asking you about the hobbies. Ah. Yes, I don't have any hobbies. But, okay, well, that's kind of boring. I really don't have any hobbies, and I... I do. I doubt it counts as a hobby, but I write in my diary, huh? Really? What do you write about? No, it's boring stuff, like boring stuff. Bonsai? Oh? You got a bonsai plant, and you said that your only hobby is writing in a diary, my friend. I feel like tanding bonsai is a, a bit more interesting. Oh, sharper than I look, you say? I don't know, I'd say I look pretty sharp. Why didn't you mention bonsai, huh? You only have eight years experience? Pal, eight years of experience. Eight dang years, my friend. That's quite a few. At least to me. That's... You really clam up when the guest stops talking, don't you? <laughs> Uh, that would be me, except I'm not a girl, or a, a hostess. I'm not even a host. Call me the entire, or... Okay, well, I'm not allowed to say you should smile, sweetheart, so... Hum. Yeah, try to compliment them. Just, uh, you know, say something. Sure, why not? Maybe his personality? You say, like, you have a really nice watch. You say, wow. <laughs> That's not a compliment. Wait, hold on. Is that your idea for compliment? What? This is the first time I feel like I can look up to you. I can see why you wear that janky eye patch now. Sheesh. Okay. Well, this is at least interesting. It's something. I gotta say... You can really tell how good I am at uh, talking to women. I'm very good. Older people do tend to like me. You're a grandkid type. Oh, uh, well. I'm not so sure about the grandchild part, but I was always my grandpa's favorite. Well, that's interesting. Well, yeah. Very nice. I'll be sure to send you out when the uh, old fellas get out from their pottery class or something. Anyways, please tell me there isn't too much more of this. I don't think I can handle talking to a woman for much longer. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think I can handle recording for much longer. I don't know if my, like, my computer is audible right now, but it's being, you know, a bit... Uh, a bit loud, let's just say. Not very good at talking to men. No freaking way. You kidding? You talking? You talking to me, pal? You shouldn't be right. No way. You not good at talking to men? Oh, it's because I'm not good at it. 
that's kind of a really odd reason to work at a hostess club. You know, I'm a man too. You do realize I am in fact male. And I can prove it. <laughs> well, I can talk to you just fine. Because I'm such a nice guy. Probably code gay because you don't seem like a man at all, dude. <laughs> Sheesh. You're not very good at this. I think that's a good stopping place. You insulted me enough for one day. Now say no more before I just straight up fire you out of sheer rage. Good lesson. It was a great lesson. God, you you kidding me? That was a perfect lesson. Gosh. I have the best advice, especially for women. Anyways. See? She leveled up three times. The life of the party right there. Anyways. Can I... Can I leave? I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> um... Yeesh. Oh, okay. I see. I don't really care. Let's send Yuki out for funsies. Cast on duty. Bronze hostess. We already have them out. What do I have to do? Makeover stuff? Why? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Alright, well, what now, huh? Oh, right, I can open for business. How about that? Sure, why not? Now, I am completely betraying my other cabaret job. Why am I working here? I feel like I would at least be, like, noticeable enough. Or famous enough. There's more? Ah. Okay, maybe this should have been its own episode. This is the cabaret episode. I'm sorry, guys. It's gonna be a little longer. Well, okay. Well, alright. I'm very attentive, especially when it comes to women. In fact, all I do when I'm outside is stare at women. You can tell how good I am. Anyways. Yeah, put you over there. There you go. See, it's perfect. So, okay, I see the problem. Right? They're poor! Um, should I have gotten a better talker, I guess? Uh, go to table three, please. Pal, are you gonna sit down? There you go. What? What are you talking about? Oh, never mind. I see the pro okay. This was perfect. Should I switch him out? Sure, I'll switch him out. Perfect. See, I'm so good. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. How do I... Pal, you told me that I could press the Y button to get over there, right? I don't seem to be able to press the Y button to get over there. Anyways, I switched her out, I guess. Check, please. Okay, I see now what I can do. Time for the check. Uh, I mean, our apologies. Thank you. Very nice. We did it, guys. We, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh. We sure did. Okay. Oi, pal. What's up with you? She's giving a signal. Uh. Swap ashtray. Right. Very nice. We did it, guys. Oh, uh, well, that's not great, actually. Shoot. 
How do I how do I play this game, man? All right. This is okay. Shoot. Okay. Uh thank you. Oh, well. I gotta say, I'm still not quite understanding the controls here. Sunshine Fever? What in the heck? Perfect. Patty. Well, this is great. This is pretty nice. They're having a great time. Um... Could not see guests due to lack of girls. I'll wait on you. Anyways. Hold on. Uh, time for the check. Gracious send off. Anyways. Very nice. We still got a minute left of this. What seems to be the problem? She's giving a signal? Um. Okay. Well, it was her glass. For your own dang glass! How about that one? Huh? Anyways. Well, okay. We'll get way better at this with time, my friends. For now. Help requested at table six. No, actually, hold on. Uh, you know what? I might want to switch out the girls on tables one and four. What seems to be the problem here? Uh, what? Towel. Very nice. Take a towel. Please. In fact, use it to cover your ugly mug. Anyways. Long session. First beauty. Uh. Very nice. Cool. We did it, guys. We have, uh, successfully operated a cabaret club. I am doing very, very well. Anyways, oh jeez, more. More fellas? My man. A menu, there we go. Menu. I know what menu is in Japanese, as in fact. If I may. I'm doing so well. I'm so good at what I do. I could have sworn there was initially, like, a... Uh... Hold on. I'll probably switch this girl in for, uh, let's be careful, I'll switch. Extend session? No, I'll just say thank you. Now get the heck out of my club. Alright, I will give you adequate service. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Uh, anyways. Would you like to extend- oh, short session, actually. Prefers sexy. Our apologies. Our apologies. Sorry, fellas, she's, uh, more of a cute girl than a schmexy one. In terms of the, uh, in terms of the, uh, hot, cute, sexy, uh, you know, try Triforce there, the triangle, the, uh, the, uh, you know. Wow, I'm really good with women. I'm so good with women, guys. Anyways, now that I've been good with women for a long enough time, I think I'm just gonna have to straight up not do this anymore today. CP! Okay, yeah, I gotta stop just kind of shouting that every time it comes up in the game. The, uh... The, um... The points. The point system. The, uh, C points. I don't know what the C stands for. It stands for... Uh, the P stands for points, though, which is significantly better than... Anyways. We really need more girls! There's girls over at the Grand! For trade! We can... We can let's buy women! Oh! That was quick. We're recruiting very fast. Sheesh. Oh, okay, well. Of course there's more things going on. I've told you before, you're not gonna buy my club. Oi. 
Well, I've got these boys here that can beat the crap out of you instead. Well, I've got this one boy here that can beat the crap out of the both of you instead. Hold on there, pal. I'm, uh, you know, not going to allow you to trouble this shop. Anyways. A, blo a boss and a bouncer. Fluggo choice for an idiot. You better not take me out, huh? I look forward to being entertained as I watch how far you manage to crawl. Anyways. Yeah. Bring it, Porky. Humph. A rump, I say. The red Richie Rich. Reddy Rich. Richie Red. Red. Rib. Red. Rouge Rich. Richie. Richie Rouge. Red. Ribby. Rebber. Rebber. Rebe. Yeah. This is why I don't make long videos, in case you hadn't already noticed. Might be tougher than I had taught. Yeah, let's just take over the entire place. Let us two men take over the entire city. That's how it's gonna go. Anyways, this was nice. Let's go to the Grand. And before that, let us please... A million yen to machine. Oh ho ho ho! It's a dream machine! For a million yen! Absolutely will I make my dreams come true. For a million yen. Aha! I guess. Do things like that actually happen? What the hell? What the hell's going on here? More stuff? Can we just not? Okay. Fine. What's all this then? Taxes? Oh jeez, it's not even April yet, man. I don't want to have to deal with taxes yet. Whatever, this well-dressed fella is uh, having some good times. Well, see ya. Have fun there. Anyways, we are, will maybe deal with that on the next episode, but probably not. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm just... <laughs> I am not going to send you the best girl we have. If you're not willing to cough up a little bit of likes and comments, my friends. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.